During this week's episode of The Real Lab, two teams will be competing to finish a fluid balance experiment. This week's drugs will be isoproteranol, phenylephrine, prazosin, and a prazosin phenylephrine mixture. The team who completes the results table accurately first will win a year's supply of Papa John's Pizza, a coveted TA position in Chris Armour's Physiology Lab, and a $1 cash grand prize. Team White consists of Angela Fang. I hope I look good in white. Nicholas Floresta. I'm here for the pizza. Mmm, pizza. Team Black consists of... Haley Park. I'm here to win. Yeah! And Wing Cho. Wait, what am I supposed to say? Alright, Angela, I'm gonna start ISO for turn all. Are you... You got a chart ready? Yeah, it's ready. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, Nicholas, I got the data. I'm gonna put it up. All right, go, hurry, hurry. Just like me, do, do, do. They long to be close to you. Nicholas isn't done yet. Poof. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 it's done. Okay, well, I got the data. I'm gonna put it up. Alright. Wait a minute. Nicholas, come over here. Our data's different. Isopaternal is a beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, so it's going to activate a G-alpha-S G protein, which will activate adenocyclase. And that's going to cleave ATP to cyclic AMP, and the cyclic AMP is going to activate protein kinase A, um, which will then activate myosin light chain phosphatase and potassium channels on the membrane, and it also deactivate myosin light chain kinase. And the net effect of all this is going to be vasodilation which will increase arterial radius. Um, 
that will decrease the radiate, the resistance, sorry, in the arterioles, and according to Ohm's law, will increase the flow. So we should see an increase in flow rate. And this increase in flow should should travel into the capillaries and increase the hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries. So according to Starling's law, there will be an increased driving force out, which will accumulate fluid in the tissues, and we should see an increase in weight. Mm, how about prazosin? Let me see your notes. Well, prazosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor blocker, so there's nothing activating the receptor, so nothing should happen, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to redo this. Yeah. God, Nicholas, he's always thinking about food. I bet he messed up with the drugs. Now we have to do it over again. That Angela, if she'd stop staring at her reflection in the monitor, once in a while, maybe we'd get some work done. Dude, Team White's like falling apart. Haley's gonna thank me for this one. Okay, Wing, I'm gonna add prozazine and phenylephrine mixture. Is the chart ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Wait, what are we doing again? Wing doesn't know anything because she's always me bowing. I feel like I'm doing everything in this lab. Wing, I'm only gonna say this once. So, Prazosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor blocker, and phenylephrine is alpha-1 adrenergic receptor agonist. So we're just checking to see if the prazosin is going to be blocking phenylephrine. So if we see phenylephrine, if phenylephrine works, then it means, then it's gonna decrease the flow rate because of the basal constriction according to Ohm's law. And also the weight will decrease because of the Starling's law. But if we don't see any change, then that means phenylephrine was completely blocked by prazosin, so we're not going to see any change. Do you get it now? Uh, yeah. Next week, the truth comes out and emotions run wild. What the f-